So check this out. Dish Network made a statement that they had an outage caused by a ransomware attack. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to do some more cyber news. And there was a recent cyber attack of one of the largest satellite TV providers in the United States, and that's Dish Network. And this cyber attack starts a reminder of the growing threat of ransomware attacks across the world. And in this video, I wanted to take a closer look at what actually happened during the Dish Network attack. And I also wanted to check out the potential impact it had on the company and its customers and what we can learn from it. So let's hop over to the article and check out exactly what happened. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so this article is on Security Week, and it's another cybersecurity website that I follow where they cover different things that happen throughout the country as far as cyber attacks. And it states that Dish Network says outage caused by ransomware attack. And this article was written by Edwards uh, Kovacs. And I always want to give a shout out to the people that created the article or did the research behind putting out the information so I can kind of report on it to you guys that follow my channel as far as cyber attacks and different things that I try to report on on the channel. And this article was released on March 1st, uh, which a couple days ago, which is when this outage happened. So let's go through it and see exactly what happened. But it says Sat satellite TV giant Dish Network has confirmed that a recent outage was the result of a cyber attack and admitted that data was stolen as part of the incident. And that's what I'm interested in. I want to find out exactly what was stolen. And I believe it covers that in here. But it says Dish Network started experiencing problems last week when its website, applications, and various other services became unavailable. People immediately started to speculate that the issues may be caused by a cyber attack, but the company initially did not confirm reports. And that's one thing a lot of these big companies do. They understand if something like this happens, you know, data is compromised, that they risk uh, people actually stop using their services. But it says, described it as a internal outage. But it says, however, Dish confirmed in a filing with the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission, the SEC, uh, on Tuesday that it was indeed targeted in a cyber attack, specifically a ransomware attack. Yeah, and that's pretty bad, you know what I'm saying, especially since they had to confirm with the SEC. You know, stock prices drop, you know, people don't lose faith in the company and themselves. And that's one of the things that happens with these types of attacks. And companies don't want to put this information out as soon as possible, even though it may affect their customers. They don't want to affect their bottom line at the end of the day, <laughs> in my opinion, which, hey, you're running a business. The business is to make money. So I get it. But it says the incident was first announced on February 23rd and an investigation revealed on February 27th that certain types of data were exfiltrated from the company's IT systems. It is possible the investigation will reveal that the extracted data includes personal information. Yeah, and like I said, that's that's the, the bad part about these types of attacks. When they take information, most of the time they're going after the customers, um, you know, also the business as well, but the customers is, that's the people that's paying, you know, for your service. And if you lose faith from your customers by their data being stolen, then that can negatively affect your company. Now it says a forensics investigation is ongoing. External cybersecurity experts have been called in and law enforcement has been notified. So yeah, that's typically what happens. And hope they, hopefully they have cybersecurity insurance, which I remember talking about this with uh, my man Gabe Bay as well as Professor Bl Professor Black Ops talking about the insurance that companies have to have in order to 
protect the company from either the ransomware or the lawsuits that would come behind some of this stuff. Now it says, uh, Dish and Sling and our wireless and data network remains operational. However, the, the corporation's internal communications, customer call center, and internet sites have been affected. So that sucks for them. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of their internal communications that will cause the company to not function properly. You know what I'm saying? So it says the corporation is actively engaged in restoring the affected systems and it's making steady progress, the company said. Now, right here is one of the one of the other things. It says this shares have been on a downward trajectory since the rumors of a possible hack started uh, circulating. And that's why they try to not disclose what's actually going on, because that's exactly what will happen. And it looks like, yeah their stock is down um and i'm starting to look at some of these cyber attacks as a way for cyber criminals to conduct other operations against the company like for instance this is basically the opposite of a pump and dump so they will they know that the shares are going to go down so they're going to invest in the company when the shares go down and they make a potentially make a lot of money once it goes back up as after this cyber attack so i mean and no one knows but still that could be uh, a case this could be a long-term hack where you have multiple operations that happen for instance the hack itself as well as the results that happen after that they may you know end up getting the money from the organization to decrypt their systems and all that and then most likely the company's shares will recover so they can potentially make a lot of money as the shares go down and basically they can get money on the front end and the back end of this hack and i think that's something that may be and i haven't seen anyone talk about that uh that just kind of popped up in my head but i know a lot of cyber criminals they do do like pump and dumps or whatever they'll pump up some stock using campaigns and then like send out a whole bunch of emails to get people to invest in a particular company and then dump all their stocks once it reaches you know the time where they stop pushing out the phishing emails and so the the stock will tank you know what i'm saying they'll run off with the money but it says security week has checked the websites of several major ransomware groups but has not seen any mention of dish however bleeping computer reported that the ransomware group black basta is behind the hack the black basta operation which has been highly active has been linked to a well-known Russian cyber crime group called Fin7. And I remember, I think I did a video on Fin7 a while back, but that's super interesting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, in conclusion, the ransomware attack on Dish Network set serves as a cautionary tale for all businesses and individuals about the importance of cybersecurity. And this is one of the reasons why I cover a lot of these articles and topics, because I want to make people aware of what's actually going on in the world when it comes to cybersecurity, especially if you plan on getting into the cybersecurity field. Uh, and become a cybersecurity professional, you need to stay on top of what's actually going on. But also ransomware attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated and widespread, and they can have severe consequences, just like in this case with the stock dropping and all that. But it is essential to take proactive steps to protect your data and systems, such as keeping your software up to date, using strong passwords, and I think I said this in another video, but also backing up your data regularly. That's one of the most important steps when protecting yourself when it comes to ransomware. If you got secure backups, then you don't really have to worry about this. You can wipe those systems, recover using the most recent backup and you're back up and running. You know what I'm saying? But thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.